Lesson 8, Surd's Problem Solving, Example 8. In Part 1, we have to find the exact square root of 28 minus 10 root 3. Now, what we'll do, we'll let A plus the square root of B be equal to the square root of 28 minus 10 root 3, because clearly it will have to be in this particular form. Now, then we'll square both sides, so we'll have a plus root b all squared equals 28 minus, and I'll take this 10 inside, square root of, now taking it inside and squaring it becomes 100, so this will be 300. Remove the brackets here, so it'll be a squared plus twice the product, 2a root b, plus root b squared is just b, equals 28 minus the square root of 300. Okay, therefore a squared plus b, plus, now take this inside, square root of 4a squared b, equals 28 minus square root of 300. Okay, now, a squared plus b equals 28. We'll call that equation 1. And 4a squared b equals 300. We'll call that equation 2. Uh, in 1, in equation 1, we can see that a squared equals 28 minus b. Now we'll sub that, sub into equation 2. So we get 4 times 28 minus b, b equals 300. What I'll do, I'll get rid of that 4, I'll divide both sides by 4, and we get, and remove the brackets at the same time, 28b minus b squared equals 75. Form a quadratic, take this across the other side, so we've got b squared minus 28b plus 75 equals 0. Now, what two numbers multiply to give me 75 and add up to give me minus 28? Clearly, that's going to be minus 3 and minus 25. So we factorise that, b minus 25 and b minus 3 equals 0. Okay, therefore b equals 25, or b equals 3. Okay, so what we'll do, we'll take um, we'll take b to be 25, and substitute it back in, so we get a, a squared equals 28 minus 25, so a squared equals 3 which means that a is equal to plus or minus the square root of 3. Now if we go back to our original and we see that um, it has to be a plus root b. So it'll be a plus root b. And that's going to be take root 3, positive case, root 3 and square root of 25 which is 5 plus root 3. Now clearly it can't be this one, right? Because if you can see here, we'll be subtracting that number from that. You can check it yourself, but you'll see it'll be nowhere near that one. So we'll take the other case, the minus case, and we'll see that um, a plus root b equals minus root 3 plus root 25. So we get 5 minus 
root 3. And if you check that, you'll find that is the correct solution, 5 minus root 3. Right, in part 2, we have to find the exact square root of 29 plus 12 root 5. Now, you can pause the video if you like and have a go yourself. You just need to be careful with the, with the signs at the end, that's all, and check your solutions. Okay, now, as before, what we'll do, we'll say, we'll let a plus root b equal the square root of 29 plus 12 root 5. Square both sides, we get a plus root b all squared equals 29 plus, and again we'll take that inside, squaring that, multiplying by 5, we get 720. So a squared plus b plus 2a root b equals 29 plus the square root of 720. Okay, so a squared plus b equals 29. Taking this inside, we can see that 4a squared b equals 720. Dividing by the 4, we get a squared b is equal to 180. From here we see that a squared equals 29 minus b. So 29 minus b times b equals 180. 29b minus b squared equals 180. Forming the quadratic, we get b squared minus 29b plus 180 equals 0. So what two numbers multiply together to give 180 and add up to give minus 29. Now if you can't think of them, just use the formula. But they are see 20 minus 20 and minus 9 other ones okay so it becomes b minus 20 and b minus 9 equals 0 therefore b equals 20 b equals 9 now I didn't do this before it doesn't matter which one you go it'll just you, you get the same result. You just got to check your answers at the end, that's all. So let's take uh, this time b equals 9. So from b equals 9, we said a squared equals 29 minus b. Oh, 29 minus 9. So that becomes a squared equals 20. a equals plus or minus root 20. Now, in this case here, it's quite clear that you can't have the negative. That's plus or minus 2 root 5. Okay, because you've got to get, remember, it's a plus root b. So, you a. So, it's 2 plus root 5 plus the square root of 9, and that's going to be 3 plus 2 root 5. You can see the negative, if you have the negative one in there, right, um, this would be a negative result, and obviously you've got a positive square root. So the final answer is that the square root of um, 29 plus 12 root 5, 29 plus 12 root 5 will be equal to 3 plus 2 root 5 as your answer.